Coming up, part two of our commercial HVAC coil cleaning series, why coil cleaning should be a part of your company's preventative maintenance program on today's Mechanical Minute-ish. Coil cleaning is an important but often forgotten practice within commercial HVAC preventative maintenance programs. And while neglecting your coils does save you money in the short term, the adverse effects could cost you big in the long run. Neglect effect number one, high energy costs. As we discussed in part one of our coil cleaning series, HVAC coils are responsible for your system's heat transfer. As dirt and debris collect on a unit's coils, it becomes increasingly harder for the designed heat transfer to occur. Over time, you'll be paying for this loss of efficiency through your energy bills. In fact, studies show failure to maintain clean coils can cause your HVAC system to utilize 20 to 50% more energy. Neglect effect number two, equipment lifespan reduction. With a reduction in heat transfer efficiency, the unit's compressor, which moves the refrigerant through the coils, is forced to work longer and harder. Dirty coils mean a system's cooling capacity could drop by as much as 30%, and with the extra load placed on the compressor, there is a higher likelihood it may fail, which of course, can be a very expensive fix. Neglect defect number three, poor air quality. Dirty coils are ideal breeding grounds for bacteria and mold. Remember, the air that passes through the evaporator coil has already been filtered and does not go through another filtering process before entering your building. This means if your coils are extremely dirty, bacteria could get dispersed through your space, diminishing the quality of the air. And that leads us to the final point. How often should you clean your coils? Because evaporator coils come in contact with filtered air, they don't need cleaned nearly as often as condenser coils, which we recommend cleaning at least once a year. However, don't completely neglect your evaporator coils. They should at least be checked during your PM visits to see if they need a cleaning. That's all for today's Mechanical Minute-ish. We'll see you next time for the final installment of our coil cleaning series.